Good afternoon guys, Sam from Lumtech here, here to bring you another video. Today we're going to go through the basic tools that we'll be using if you're doing an installation. Obviously these will differ from obviously if you're a routine maintenance engineer. Um, and today we'll be focusing on as if you're an installation um, engineer. So basically what we're going to need is a screwdriver set. Usually you can get some very good uh, decent quality ones from, from Screwfix basically. Try to get make sure it's got a terminal in it. Make sure it's got a posi drive, make sure it's got a fat blade, um, and make sure they vary in different sizes. You only need a, a five to seven piece set. Uh, next thing we're going to need is side cutters, which are which are these. Obviously, you've got a flat on one side, and obviously the crimping one. Uh, the one with the the, um, the indent part that will be what you use to strip the cables. The other side is what you'll be using to cut the cables, so you can obviously see where you're cutting it better. Um, some other things to use is some is some chisels. Uh, this would be wood chisels because um, for getting out door frames you need to flush in a contact. Um, these will vary in different widths, going from three mil up to twenty mil, um, depending on on you know the sort of sets that are available to you. We need some white tape. Uh, white tape will obviously be used just to um, so we can mark the cables to what they're for. If you mark it directly onto the cable with your black marker. Um, it will probably smudge, so obviously try to get onto a tape and also allow you to pull the cables through. I'd also recommend some rods. Um, these are basically just fiberglass rods. You can pick them up um, in, a, again, screw fix. Uh, these will obviously allow you to take cables underneath floor voids. Um, something else that you, you should have is drill bits. I use these ones, which uh, are Bosch multi, uh, multi construction. Basically, these can go through wood, brick. Um, metal if I need them to. Obviously they only vary in um, certain sizes so obviously a, a 5.5 up to an 8. Um, it would be good to get some some 20mm drill bits uh, specifically for wood um, as again for a flush contact that's the sort of size that you'll be needing. Um, we'll go into the sort of screws that you'll need. Um, obviously you need some wall plugs and those will be a 5.5 uh, red ones. Um, inch 8 which obviously an inch long um, and eight basically which is which is the width and I'll just compare that to a three quarter six so this is going to be three quarters long um, and six millimeter wide basically so if you can have a look at the difference obviously this one's very thin compared to the other one um, you use three quarter sixes to put up um, light light things like door contacting you use an inch eight with a wall plug obviously to fit a um, to fit a PIR or a DT, um, we'll also be using inch eights. Inch eights are obviously inch and a half long, eight millimeter wide, and these will be using um, to mount the panel to the wall. You can use two inch eights, obviously, which are obviously two inches long. Um, what we'll go through is, is a other specialist sort of tools. Um, for that, I've got a cable stripper. Um, essentially, what this does is you put the cable through the top where you want to cut it or strip it. Sorry. And obviously all you do is just pull that and it obviously separates the cable. Okay. Um, the cable that we generally use is eight core, and that basically means that you've got eight different cores inside. Um, you can use six obviously, but with a six core, what will happen is you only have six cores, you won't have the um, the orange and brown, you'll just have the, the standard colours, which are the white, black, green, blue, red, and yellow. Um, the other ones obviously won't be there. Um, inside all the cable you will get sort of thread. Uh, with this thread you can strip the cable back further um, and obviously take it back to as much as you need and then obviously they se it separates quite easily. Uh, once you've got your desired length obviously you can use your cutters and just cut the excess of uh, and if, you've, if you're done with the, with the puller just obviously cut that off as well uh, and then obviously we've got a length of cable as much as we need. Okay. Um, for general cabling what we use is red and black blue and yellow. Uh, the red and black is for your power, so you'll have the red, red as your positive, black as your negative, um, and then you'll have for your for your transmitting of your data, um, you'll have your yellow and blue. Typically your yellow is a tamper and blue is your alarm. Um, if it's a different one of those circuits we'll go into a later video. Um, a tip for when you're stripping it is obviously if I can just get this here, okay. So what you want to do is an inch, inch and a half, two inches from the end. Um, obviously you can see that I'm using this size with the indent 
do quite a moderate amount of pressure and just pull it away until about a centimeter of cable is showing you don't want to strip it all the way to the end because what we want to do is give it a little twist and twist and now what we do is just cut it to the length that we need okay and we'll drop to time about half a centimeter if you can see this is going to be your desired length and obviously now it's coiled if I push that against my finger uh, it's not going to fray okay if I was to do it with another one for example just do this one quickly uh, and just cut that off it, as you can see as soon as I press that in it all frays basically and you get cables sticking out of everywhere okay if that's to happen inside an alarm panel what can happen that can create a short um, which basically means the alarm will think that it's closed when it's actually open or worse it can obviously go through the power pair uh, and blow up the fuse in the panel basically um, so those are the sort of tools that we'll be needing I'd also recommend a staple gun um, for that what we'll need to have is um, a 6mm staple basically I'll be two seconds uh, so this is a staple gun obviously we'll unlock it and obviously this will bring up the catch and then we'll do the trigger and that will fire off the cylinder uh, you can undo the bottom, I'll just show you what the staples look like because obviously they're not the same that you'll use for paper um, these are the staples that we'll be using and basically what it will do is um, when you staple it over the cable it won't it won't crimp through the cable it will just um, make it, it'll just obviously secure it to the surface that you're using and obviously you just pull that towards you and then obviously put the safety catch back on so it doesn't shoot your bag full of staples Some other things you'll be looking at getting is, is a combi drill and obviously this will be used with your drill bits to drill holes um, through different materials and also an impact driver. Uh, with an impact driver what you'll do is get um, we'll get screw heads or you know, heads for that um, and you'll get a set much like this and obviously inside here you'll get all your different so sorts of screw heads. Um, so let me just show you one quickly, much so like this. And then obviously you'll be using that in your impact driver, so you don't have to use your your hand tools as much as as you do. Because um, with extended use, after years and years, your forearms will start to um, to get deformed. Basically, uh, if you can see mine, yep. Yeah, so they're a little bit deformed because of the amount of screwing that I do. Way. Um, and with that, obviously, if you've got your impact gun, you can obviously go into CCTV um, for security screws because the security bits. Will obviously fit into impact driver. Um, another thing that I'd recommend is um, just different colour tape. So obviously you can mark out different places um, and for the panel. Those are the general tools that you'll need. Um, you will obviously with these side cutters they are quite obviously large and bulky. So if you're doing a, a big panel, for example. Um, your hands will get tired. The best thing to do will be some smaller, smaller ones, which you, which have a spring open, um, and obviously this will be enabled to strip back the cable quicker. Um, I would recommend this tool though. It's about thirty pounds from Screwfix, maybe a bit more. And basically, this will also strip um, mains cable. If you've ever tried to do mains cable with uh, with cutters, it's very laborious because you have to go round the outside. Uh, with little nips and then pull it off and then obviously you've got the, the main cable inside of that well you, you know you've got the live neutral and the earth um, but this will just strip it straight apart you don't have to worry about that and also you can obviously cut it to the correct length because the mains doesn't have uh, the thread so obviously you have to cut it to the right length that you want it and then you have to take um, the white sheathing off from um, from where you are I'm about to put that into the mains feed so that's the essential tools that you will need um, I will create a list in the description um, and I'll maybe do some links to Screwfix depend on where where you're coming from uh, if you're from overseas obviously there might be different vendors um, but anyway that's it for today's video guys and uh, any questions leave me a comment and I'll try to get back to you cheers